Tap Tap here, doing a little post-commentary for this video because there was a little audio problem. But the video track is just fine, so... And I also thought maybe I should try doing more post-commentaries. I don't know what people really prefer. If you said what you do prefer, especially in the context of my videos, in the comments that'd be nice, but... Personally, I just sort of think it's maybe a little more authentic or something to be talking while you're playing, but at the same time, it's more problematic. I mean, if you, if you have to re-record because if something happened in the audio, it's the big pain in the butt. But it it's a lot easier to do this, but at the same time, I'm sort of forgetting what I was thinking while I was playing the game. Oh, and... Oh, I hate these bridges. But I've mentioned those before, I think. Yeah, in post-commentaries, it just seems a little... I don't know, fake, I guess, but... I can see where they would both be nice. And I'm not very good at Mario. I've said that a lot, though. Oh, I die a lot here, so you know. Anyway, what I think happened with the audio... I changed to... I made it so that it was all one audio track again. I was just... I was just recording the system audio through the microphone, whereas before I had them as two separate tracks, and I was directly recording the system audio. And that's a nice thing to do, but on my computer you can't actually, you don't get stereo mix. In Windows XP you had a stereo mix option, which is just recording directly the sound that would be, that is being played on your speakers directly. But... Since Windows Vista, they haven't had that, and my sound card company does not offer that option at all. You can't, there's no driver update or anything to enable that. And what I'm pretty sure, I don't think it's Microsoft's fault, and I'm not, I don't think it's particularly the fault of the sound card manufacturer. I think it's more of a legal issue because of the Recording, in, the Recording Industry Association of America. They're legal jerks, and they like to sue everybody over... They they ruin pretty much everything related to music. But they have a very, to be blunt, retarded idea that, oh no, you'll record your own system audio, and then you'll have a recording of what you were listening to on your own system, and then you can use that recording to listen to what you were listening to. That's that's clearly illegal. Listening to things you own is illegal. In fact, listening to this is illegal. Because this is on your computer. And according to the RIA, what's on your computer is not yours, and it's illegal to listen to it. Anyway, that's my little rant. And I'm not sure why I'm paused here. I probably intended to cut this out. Nope, I'm back. I don't remember what happened there. It's a problem with post-commentary, but at the same time, I recorded this a couple of days ago. I just didn't feel like messing with it. Actually, for a bit, I wasn't sure if I had even kept the video file, because I was just annoyed that it messed up, and I didn't even think about doing a post-commentary. Giant pencils. I totally lost my train of thought there. Are the castles in this game really long? I forget how long it was before this video started, but I just remember thinking the castle's really long. This is Ludwig's castle. I'm pretty sure he's a reference of Mozart, isn't he? I think he's the one with the weird hair. I said he has a comb over in Mario Adventure. It, it really does look like a comb over. I'm sorry. I think it's supposed to be a mohawk, but... It's not. It's just not. Those doors are sort of odd. I guess they're the Mario 2 doors, aren't they? I mean, they sort of fit, but at the same time, they just seem out of place. I don't know why. And I 
I just said screw you to that mushroom. I wasn't taking any of its crap that day, apparently. Even though it spells my untimely multiple deaths, I just cannot dodge a hammer to save my life. But you know, in construction you dodge hammers surprisingly small amounts of time. It really doesn't happen that often. And I guess his hair really isn't a comb over, at least not in this game. I'm the only one I know that calls it a comb over, but it really does look like that to me. I don't really like that this guy changed the bosses. I've never seen these bosses used in any hack. I mean, they may be, like, a publicly used thing, but... It's just always nice to not see the original bosses. Like that... Is it Larry or something? That very first boss, I've seen him killed, like, 30 friggin' times. Probably more than that. And it's like, he takes two seconds to kill, just cut out the frickin' thing. Though, I don't think... I totally don't remember, and it just happened. Does this game actually give you the little cutscenes after you beat the castle? I totally space on whether that happened or not. And once again, the game's using the Yoshi's Island textures, which I really like. Yoshi's Island graphics, rather. Oh, they're... They look a little out of place in this game, just because they're way more detailed than the original SMW, but I just really like those. I love that game. But it was like one of my first games, so... Everyone always loves their first non-crappy game. And, you know, thanks to nostalgia, every other game is just going to be bad and whatever. I generally don't subscribe to the thought that everything 8-bit was awesome and, you know, beepy music was awesome. I can appreciate chiptune to an extent, but the actual original NES music was pretty terrible. Even Kirby's Adventure, I love frickin' Kirby music, but I can't bear to hear the 8-bit ear-grinding pain that is the NES music. Anyway, I'm not even talking that much about the level, am I? Those Koopa things, you would have to try to hit those. I think I probably have hit them because I insulted their difficulty. I probably hit them, like, several times, but they just seem like they always fly right under you, and it would be really hard to actually bump into them. I remember thinking those pipes back there might be, like, an alternate path or something. I thought I was being all clever by going through that brick wall, but it's really the way you're supposed to go. I like seeing Patui in this game. It's one of the things I really liked from SMB3. Even though I only got to that world, world like 7 or something, I only got to there like two times, and I never got there on the NES. Because the NES does not have a save function, and I could never get that far. And I played that before I had the internet, and I knew about, you know, searching for things, and actually finding information you want. That was that was a new concept for me. And now I couldn't live without it. It's awesome. And this is like the end of the level. I don't know if this is an incomplete hack and this is the end or something, but I couldn't get past here. I reset the game, I redid this level, and everything like that, and it still ends right there. Wait, is that the... I think I just saw the goal orb. You gotta be kidding me. I Did I just see the goal orb? I'm gonna kill myself if that is. I bet that was sprite limitations and it just erased the goal orb and I couldn't leave. At least that's what I'm thinking. Just for like 10 milliseconds, I swear I saw that question mark. That's gonna haunt my dreams. Oh, this was a nice touch though. There's a little spawning Koopa thing. Oh, and check out that Koopa dancing. Oh, I killed his family. 
That's what I do to dancing Koopas, really. Anyway, I am immediately going to go and find out if that the end of the level thing was there. Oh, it doesn't appear so, though. But I should check at SMW Central. I think that's where I got this. And see if this hack ends early, or... I'll find out what the deal is with that. But, thanks for watching.